Hi, it's Alex, composer of Healing Meditation Music. Thanks for your interest and support. Thanks for listening on streaming platforms and licensing. I hope my music helps to bring your projects and videos to a new level. In today's video, I'd like to clear up some things about royalty-free music and tell you how to deal with possible copyright claims. It's very easy, please bear with me, it will be fun. First of all, there's a misconception that royalty-free music is always copyright-free. If we check it on Google, we will see that it's not always like that. People often mistakenly confuse royalty-free music for non-copyrighted music, but the two are not the same thing. Royalty-free does not mean non-copyright and it is not free. Royalty-free music is a type of licensing in which a piece of music is bought only once and used for as long as one wishes. And that's exactly the case with my music too. So, if you used some track on YouTube and received a copyright claim, first of all, do not worry, copyright claim doesn't harm your channel or video. If the video is published with it, it will still be getting views, likes and will get suggested by YouTube like any other video does. Copyright claim is not a strike and it affects only monetization. Here you can see that this particular video on a monetized channel is not eligible for monetization. But let's fix this quickly. Select Dispute. My dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. Then select License. I have permission or license to use the content claimed in my video. Press Continue. I have permission to use the content from the copyright owner. And here you get to copy and paste the text of the license which you got after purchasing. It's available in a folder with music itself. So simply copy and paste it here. Select all the checkboxes. And put your signature below. That's right, click Submit. And your dispute is submitted. Even though it says it can take up to 30 days, usually they do it within 2-3 working days. So very quickly, no worries here. But the good news is that since your dispute was sent, all the money are put into escrow and will be sent to you after claim gets released and in case if your channel is already monetized. So it's best to dispute the claims right away and you won't lose any money. And now, if you're also doing live streams, then additional preparations are needed from my side to make sure that monetization is available for you during live streaming. For that, please contact me beforehand and I will do my best to set this up for you. Now, let's switch to Facebook. If you ever get a claim on Facebook, the best approach is to dispute it through Meta Business Suite on an iPad or similar mobile device. Facebook is not yet consistent with claims and trying to do the same on a desktop, it might not work this way. Press Submit Dispute. Open Form. Select License Content. Here what I recommend is typing a simple general phrase about license for commercial use from the author of music. On Instagram the process is also very simple. Select Appeal. 
I agree. And put your signature. Claims get released very quickly. That's how everything works as of November 2022. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in comments below this video or reach out to me through Facebook or Instagram. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.